In this video, we'll talk about what types of clips are available, some tips for installation, and how to choose the right one for your project. A clip is a concealed anchor that attaches a roof panel to the substrate with the use of fasteners. In this video, we'll focus on their application in standing seam metal roofing systems, but clips are used in many different types of assemblies, like wall systems, metal tile systems, Bermuda panels, flat lock panels, and more. Clips can be made from galvalume, galvanized steel, stainless steel, copper, aluminum. Galvalume and galvanized steel are probably the most widely used overall, while stainless steel clips are most popular for coastal applications, copper, and zinc panels. The choice of clips are gonna be based heavily on manufacturer's recommendations and testing, and we'll talk about how to choose the right one for your project towards the end of this video. Let's take a look at some different types of clips and when they're used. These are floating clips, which are generally used in open framing applications to create a space for compressed blanket insulation and to reduce sound transfer from the panel to the purlins. There are also a variety of clips designed for expansion and contraction, including the floating clips we just talked about, and these butterfly clips. They generally sit close to the roof deck, allowing the clip to take the assembly's thermal movement. There are different styles, including sliders and butterfly clips like these, and they're usually used in mechanically seamed systems. Sometimes they come in two separate parts and have to be assembled. Fixed clips can't move with the expansion and contraction of the roof panel, so they're suitable for snap lock systems because snap lock panels can move independently of one another. Fixed clips can also be used on mechanical seam systems, but only if they're less than 20 feet long because there's less expansion and contraction on shorter panel runs. Some other types of clips are batten clips, which go between two adjacent panels, and then a batten cap locks on the clip on both sides. There are a variety of clips that are used in wall systems as well, like these wave panel clips that look like flat fixed clips. When you're installing any type of clip, it's important that you don't overdrive the fasteners or drive them in at an angle. Make sure the clip is properly placed on the panel and isn't pulling it out horizontally. Always check your manufacturer's recommendations for clip spacing as well. If you're using an automated seamer on a mechanical lock panel, it can be helpful to bend the panels to 90 degrees by hand at the clip locations to make it easier on your seamer. If you're not sure what clip to use, it's always a good idea to start with your panel or coil and sheet supplier. They'll often have the best information out there for what products work with the specific panel you're installing, engineering and warranty requirements, location, and other project specifications. Let's talk about some of the specific factors you need to consider when choosing a clip for your panel and project. It all starts with ensuring compatibility with the panel you're running or installing. Panel dimension can vary based on the machine they're roll formed with, and the clip has to match the exact dimensions of your panel. Ensure the clip substrate is compatible with the panel substrate because dissimilar metals could cause a failure in the roofing system. The clip substrate also must be appropriate for the project's location. For example, if you're using aluminum roofing in a coastal environment, stainless steel clips could be the way to go. Determine if you need a fixed clip, expansion clip, or floating clip based on the panel type, length, material, and assembly design. Check that the grade of material used to make the clip is the quality you need. When you're installing an engineered system, always, always compare your clip selection with your metal roof manufacturer's test report or the UL construction number you're using because the wrong clip can void your engineering. The clip material and specifications must match the clip material and specifications used in the original engineering tests. Rely on your metal roofing manufacturer for support. A manufacturer like Sheffield Metals will be able to look at your panel and project specifications and help you find the right clip for your project. Make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel so you don't miss the next video in our Standing Seam Metal Roofing Accessories series. Comment down below with any questions. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.